Welcome back Focus Fanatics. In this video I'm going to demonstrate what we call menu mapping. Menu mapping allows users to minimize the number of menu item buttons by allowing users to select a mapping item prior to selecting a master item. So in this video I'm going to quickly show you how this works and then I'm going to actually show you how to set it up. So I have this set up on my call liquor screen. So an example here would be that a bar sells let's say Jack Daniels by the shot they also sell it by the regular drink and they also sell it by the bottle and I could add another button here for maybe double um, so you can see I can ring up a regular Jack Daniels so I'll just do a Jack and Coke but I don't want to have to put you know 800 buttons since I do bottle service and shots on all my liquors so now I can just go ahead and I can hit shot and then hit the same Jack Daniels button and you can see over here on the left hand side that it has actually rung in shot Jack Daniels. This is actually a separate menu item reporting to a separate menu item ID. And the same thing with bottle. If I hit bottle and I hit Jack Daniels on the left hand side we can see that bottle of Jack was rang up. Now we could also use this um, for draft beer. I could do pint, pitcher, or I could do you know 16 ounce, 22 ounce pitcher, however you want to do it. could work well with coffee. Um, it just basically allows you to have less menu items on the screen and actually utilize individual menu IDs versus uh, what price levels would do. Price levels would actually be reporting to the same menu ID. Now it's a little bit complicated to set up, so let's go ahead and show you how this is set up. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to want to create your mapping items. So these mapping items are going to be shot, bottle, pitcher, pint, uh, you know, what it depends on obviously what you're using it for. So if you go into your menu items, you'll see that I already have this set up. So I'm just going to go down to my shot item. And you're just going to create an item shot. It's going to be zero dollars. You can assign it whatever you want, but it doesn't really matter. The only thing you really need to make sure you have here is this map. Okay, so it's going to be the open character, capital MAP, and then the closing character. Okay, so you're going to do this for all of your mapping items. So if we go ahead and we take a look at bottle, I'm going to have a uh, mapping item called bottle. Uh, we will want to pay attention to the ID. And then you see on my mapping item or on the suggestion text, it has the same characters: open, map, close. Okay, so this is going to be the same for every single mapping item, whether it is pint, pitcher, small, medium, large, bottle, double. Okay, one quick note is that these menu item IDs are going to be important. You want to keep them as small as possible. So for bottle, you might be, do BTL. For shot, you might do ST. Uh, and the reason being is that when we get into the actual mapping of the items on the uh, what we call the master item, you only have a certain amount of characters so if you're only doing two say shot and bottle it's not that big of a deal but if you want to do shot bottle and double you're going to start running out of characters really quickly in here so first step is to create all of your mapping items so you go ahead and just you know basically all you have to do is just keep hitting save and add I could do add and do pint suggestion text is going to stay in there just like a regular item hit save and hit add and do Picture, save, add, schooner. Okay, now I might want to do, like I said, change my menu item ID. Okay, so once you have all those set up, the second thing that you are going to do is you're going to create all the related menu items. Okay, so for my Jack Daniels, for example, I have to create the actual menu items Jack Daniels, shot Jack Daniels bottle Jack Daniels and double Jack Daniels. This does not actually save you any time when you are adding menu items themselves because you actually have to create all of them so it might take you a little bit more time than say price levels. Um, but what it does do is it accounts for inventory properly and it uh, allows you to report those items like I said before to their own menu item ID. So just depends on what yours and your customers preferences but let's go ahead and take a look at what I've added here so if we take a look at I have shot Jack Daniels okay and these are just regular menu items once again you're going to want to keep your menu item ID as short as possible okay this is going to be very very important 
And then I have an actual regular Jack Daniels bottle, or excuse me, button. So if I look at my regular Jack Daniels button, I have Jack Daniels. It's JD for my ID, keeping it short. And I can go up to bottle. And I could spell bottle Jack. And then, you know, same thing, price, all that good stuff. And then my ID. BJD for Bottle Jack Daniels. Okay, so that's step two. You're going to create all your items. So you can see here I've got Bottle Bacardi, Bottle Bean, Bottle Captain Morgan. And you can see all of my IDs are really short. Okay, so we've created all our items now. And then the third step is to configure your master item. Okay, so your master item is going to be the regular item. So in this case, it's going to be Jack Daniels. If you're doing pitchers of beer, it might be Miller Lite or Stella or something like that. So I'm going to go find my Jack Daniels button or, or create it. I guess it just depends if you haven't created it yet. But here's my Jack Daniels button. And this is where it gets a little bit confusing. Okay, so the, really the only thing you need to do here is you need to enter in this crazy text here. Okay. So what this is, is this is open, capital M-A-P, exclamation point, close. And then for the first mapping item, we use the menu item ID, shot. And we put in a character there. And then we put in the SJD for the shot Jack Daniels. Now that's the menu item ID. So let me pull up a... a a chart for you that will help you better understand what I'm talking about here. Okay, so if you can see here, this is exactly what you're going to want to enter in. So let me zoom this in here. In this example, okay, this is what you would enter in into the suggestion text field. Open map, exclamation point, close, open, one, close, okay. Uh, shot with the character. So this shot right here, and you can see this uh, file is available on the dealer portal. This is the actual menu ID of the first mapping item. So if we would have changed this to SHT, that would be in there. And then we have this character that you can see here. That's just the straight up character. It's on the same key as the backslash character. And then SJD, which is the menu item ID for shot Jack Daniels. And then we're closing that first map. Okay, so this is basically saying if I hit, if I'm hitting this button, I'm using mapping item, it's going to look through here and say, okay, well, they hit shot first, so let's ring in a shot of Jack Daniels. Then the second option is if they hit bottle first, let's ring in what's this menu item ID, bottle Jack Daniels. Okay, and we could continue. We would, and then if when you're done, you close the map by entering, entering in these characters. Now, if I wanted to do a third one, say double, I would just do, I would repeat from here. And so, I mean, I wouldn't repeat here, but this would be a three on the end. So I do open, three, close, double, blah, 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 blah. You can keep going for as many items as you want, assuming you don't go over 80 characters. And then you just close it with this. So it's open, forward slash, map, exclamation point, close, or I guess less than or greater than. Okay, so that's step number three. And you can see here that I have all that information here in my suggestion text. You don't need to do any suggestion text on anything but the master items. Okay, so that's going to be the Jack Daniels, the Stella, the Jägermeister, for example. You can see in Jägermeister I have here. But you don't have to put anything in for the actual item shot Jack Daniels or bottle Jack Daniels or shot Jägermeister. Okay. So that's step three, and you're just going to repeat that for um, all the items. I know you can actually export the items and do it in Excel and then re-import it if it makes it easier for you. And then the last thing you have to do is basically just add all those items onto a canvas. So if I go into my canvas and I look at my call liquor, if I look at Bacardi, I have all this item or my suggestion text in there. If I look at Jägermeister, you can see I have my suggestion text in there. So, and then when I'm in the front of the house, if I hit shot and then Jägermeister, it's going to actually ring in shot of Jägermeister. So that is how you set up 
the menu mapping. I know that it's a little bit time consuming, but uh, it does great things for inventory and reporting purposes. So I hope this feature benefits both you and your customers. And until next time, stay focused.